What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Bad Talk Show. Today, we're going to talk about is crypto dead? Should you be investing in it? What we think about it? And we're going to do this while we play some pool. Right now, I'm up 2-1 in this series. So make sure you stick around until the end to find out who wins. But you can break it and let's get started. Yo, bro, I promise you I'm not losing this game because there's no way I'm going down 3-1 in the series. Blah, blah, blah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Listen, bro, let's get into this crypto stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know how to feel. Everybody is scared of crypto right now because we've seen Bitcoin go from $69,000 down to like $17,000 range. Mm -hmm. Ethereum went from $4,700 to like a little over $800 at a point. Yep. Bro, what the heck? That's scary for people. So I'm not even mad that y'all scared of crypto, but we're trying to tell you today why you shouldn't be. So Nuski, you want to get into some points? Yeah. So listen. This is the time to invest, right? Because when things are going bad, you see the big money, you see the big institutions stay quiet because they are investing and take advantage of the low points. That's how this whole thing works, y'all. Y'all have to understand the way big money thinks. Our thousand dollars, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars is not doing as much as their billions of dollars. So when they are quiet and they're investing, you have to pay attention and we're going to break down right now what the big companies are doing and who these big companies are so let's talk about it. yeah yeah so wait that, just to make sure you are you I'm solid i'm solid you're solid yeah. I bet. yeah so yo big companies bro let's talk about some of the biggest companies in the world how about google i think we all heard of google i don't know right so <laughs> if you haven't google it <laughs> yeah go, google it if you don't know google bro but they partner with coinbase right and coinbase is a crypto exchange right one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world they put over coinbase for you to be able to make payments on their cloud with crypto yep with cryptocurrency and google's cloud is one of the biggest cloud services in the world it's right? literally google amazon web services salesforce mm -hmm. but then you think about microsoft but google is a top five in yeah. the world in the world right and you could pay for their cloud services with crypto so they're clearly they clearly have a level of trust in crypto and the future of crypto in itself mm -hmm. and to be honest I'm very intrigued on this whole Coinbase thing. To be honest, there's something that you might want to look into investing into. Obviously, not advice. Just do your research on Coinbase because yep. they're making some very big partnerships. I'm not going to lie. A lot of crypto exchanges went underwater in this bear market. A lot of them. But Coinbase has held up pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, not saying they didn't go down in value a lot. I just mean yeah. in the sense that they didn't, they didn't go bankrupt like a lot of these others. And now you see them making big partnerships with some very big financial institutions like, like um, BlackRock, for example. BlackRock, if you don't know, they have the they have the most assets under management in the world. Over ten trillion dollars of assets under management. So they partner with crypto to be able to give their oh, I have to go here. They mm -hmm. partner with crypto to be able to give their wealthiest clients exposure to crypto. They they partner with Coinbase, excuse me. Yeah. To give their wealthiest clients exposure to crypto. Like, what the heck, bro? <laughs> so just think about that, right? Like he what? just named Google, which is obviously, as we said, one of the largest companies in the world. And now he's naming BlackRock. You guys really think these large institutions are going to put their money into something that they don't see going up over time? You guys really think that? Nah, that's not going to happen, right? So you have to be smart with what you're doing. They're not the only ones, though. Let's talk about JP Morgan, man, because uh -huh. when crypto was booming, everyone was talking about it, right? Don't forget now, JP Morgan was into crypto because they were investing into the metaverse, right? Yeah. They had fashion shows in the metaverse. So that's another thing to consider when you think about crypto. And let's talk about BNY Mellon, too. This is one of the largest and oldest banks in the country. They're getting involved in the crypto space. You right. have a whole CBDC going on. You really nah. think crypto is not going to go anywhere? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and CBDC is a central bank digital currency. It just shows you like a lot of central banks, a lot of governments around the world are putting a lot of money into digital currencies because they realize that that's the future. And some of them even um, have Bitcoin as their uh, number one currency, right? Yep. So you, you've seen that happen as well. Now, you know, another big company, I, I know we talked about Google, but I forgot to say, bro, people, I want y'all to know, Google invested over $1.5 billion into crypto startups mm -hmm. within the last year. What's been happening within the last year? Bear, Bear market. market. And so, so don't sleep how big money works. When nobody's talking about an asset class, that's when they dive in heavy. That's when they start putting their money in. So think about what you're doing. You're scared to put your little $30 in and Bitcoin done through... I mean, um, Google them through $1.5 billion into crypto startups. Why? Because they know it's the future. Y'all got to follow big money. Move how they move, bro. Yeah, I want to kind of talk about uh, how these big money, I'm not even focused right now, but I want to talk about <laughs> one thing, what you just said, right? You know how big money's getting involved. Yeah. There's a reason for this now. We know that you saw Square, you saw PayPal, you see these other companies come out and say they're actually investing in Bitcoin as their actual balance sheets. 
there's a reason for this and we want to break that down for you guys so a new regulation basically just passed that is called the fair value accounting right so what this means is essentially when a company that invests into crypto they get to report the actual fair value of the crypto they bought for example if you're a company bro and you bought bitcoin at twenty thousand dollars let's say you had 10 bitcoin you now have 200,000 of Bitcoin, right? right yeah. You report on that 200,000. That's what you tell people you own. Before, that wasn't the case. You could buy Bitcoin at 20,000. It goes up to 40,000, yeah. right? And then it goes back to 20,000. You only report on the lowest point it was at, which mm. is 20,000. That doesn't look as good. Why would you ever want to do that as a company? Because yeah. now you report at the lowest point, which makes you look weaker, makes your financial statements look weaker. That's not the way. If you want to seem like you're the best company out there, yeah. now it gives companies an incentive to actually report the fair value of the crypto they're investing in, which is why you see these companies getting involved. Yeah, and and the way your balance sheet looks is the direct result of like who's going to invest into you. Because you want your balance sheet to look good so that your investors start stepping in. So now that it, this could actually boost up their balance sheets, you're going to see bigger companies diving into crypto. And I love that. That's, that's major. You know something else that's going to get big companies to continue to dive in? Regulation. Regulation, bro. So just to get in regulation, um, understand, I know everybody wants crypto to be decentralized and everything. And like, that's okay. But understand, crypto's not going nowhere without regulation because you've seen what happened in this bear market. A lot of people lost money and the government don't like to see that. They don't like to see like, you know, their citizens just losing money off of like risky investments like that. Mm -hmm. And so what they have to do is regulate. And please understand that every major innovation, every like industry shifter has to go through a regulatory period because when it comes out, it's an industry shifter. So it's going to be volatile. Examples of this. Let's think about where your grandmother told you to put your money. Grandmother told you <laughs> to put your money, not under your bed, put it in a bank, right? Because mm -hmm. the bank is a safe place to put money. That's what everybody say. It wasn't always like that. I, I, it was not always like that, yo. The bank used to be a scary place to put your money because why? There was corruption. There was corruption from the big money, actually. They were taking advantage of it. And then people peeped this and they there was a run on the banks. People started withdrawing all their money out the banks and it, it caused a big financial crisis. Then guess what? Regula regulation came in and they made sure that there wasn't as much corruption going on with banks. That got solved. Stock market. There was a stock market crash where the stock market lost like what, like up to like eight, almost 80% in value. Yep. Oh my. This is not exaggeration. This legitimately happened. Literally, yo. And then they what created the SEC to come in and regulate the stock market. And now you see how much wealthy people are invested into the stock market. Then you could think about even the internet, bro. Moving on to like the 90s, it was a joke to be able to <laughs> want to be a part of the internet. Like, what the heck is the internet? If you invest in the internet, if you spoke about the internet, it was yeah. like, yo, what are you all doing? Like, internet's not a thing. Uh -huh. You guys are literally listening to us or watching us right now on the internet. Mm -hmm. That's the point he's trying to make. Exactly. And then, you know, fast forward after that, you see what the real estate crash of 2008 everybody was scared of real estate why because there was corruption going on mm -hmm. corruption going on and then they drain out the asset class because everybody had to get foreclosed and everything and and then what regulation stepped in yep. because there was so much corruption they had to regulate and now real estate has created over 90 percent of the world's millionaires so now real estate is a safe place to put money but it, like we said it wasn't always like that yeah it's not always like that and so so what we're saying is this is crypto's turn mm -hmm. it's crypto's turn like crypto has to go through this time period where the asset class got destroyed, regulations gonna come in, and then now everybody's gonna be like, oh, crypto is safe now? Oh, yep. it's over. It's not gonna be moving all crazy like this. Like you see crypto be up 90%, down 90%. That's not, that's dang, crazy. Bro. That's how you feel? Like, that's crazy. I thought I had the red one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, nah, but yeah, you're not gonna see that from crypto no more. This is probably your last chance at getting crypto at these lows. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. Because in this bear market, we are getting regulation for crypto. And once regulation is here, big money enters the game. When big money enters the game, good night. Yeah. Now, honestly, that's a, that's a great summary. Because at the end of the day, we haven't seen prices go back to 2008 from the real estate crash, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't seen prices go back to 2000 since the internet crash, the dot com bubble. All that, there's a reason for it because markets go in trends and waves. If you think about it, crypto is not that old, guys. It's still gaining, right? It started it's not off in 2009. It's not a old thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it hasn't even been that many years for it to really evolve and get to that point that it needs to 
that yo this is the technology we can really work with and look how much progress it's made so during this time of consolidation which is basically saying that the price of crypto or in this case bitcoin ethereum whatever it may be it's just going in that little range of like you know it ranges from 22k to 17k yeah. this is the time to get involved because if you get involved now it could be extremely beneficial for you when you see the price go up. So we just want it to be on record right now. While no one is talking about crypto, and not many people are even boosting about it or saying this is great, people are clowning it. We think crypto is a huge part of the future, right? We are continuing to invest in it. He invests on a daily basis. I do weekly and monthly. We really believe this is the technology for the future. It's not advice, it's just letting y'all know you should do your research on it. But is there anything else you want to add on that? I just want you to please understand how big money works. Follow the money. In bear markets, they they what? They produce FUD, which is just a way for them to... It's like news. What FUD is, is like news that scares everybody out of markets, right? They do that on purpose by design. Big money has the money to influence the media, right? So think about it. If it's us versus them, why would they bring media telling you to get involved in crypto and everything else they're trying to get involved with. Max. They want you to stay away from it so they could pick up shares, coins, whatever you want to call them at low prices. And then when they want you to start buying again, the news prints articles that say, yo, buy crypto, Max. they have their positions already. So when the prices rise up, then guess what? They're going to sell it off on you eventually. But you want to get it at the low with them, ride the wave to the top. And, then and sell. sell it at the top. Buy low, sell high. Y'all know this already. Y'all follow back to it. Literally. So that, that's the whole piece that we want to let you guys know. Keep you guys up to date with the crypto news. Let you guys know what's happening right now. And then right now, let's see if I come back. And I'm getting my butt beat right now. This is terrible. <laughs> so stick around till the end to see who wins. We'll catch you in a bit. <laughs>